Well, good morning, Food Foresters. Bonnie's sticking her head out. Clyde's over there. Lydia's probably in the in the barn thing feeding off of Bonnie right now. But we're gonna go ahead and do a fall update for you guys. So stay tuned. Hello, Stinky Clyde boy. Oh, you are extra special today, aren't we? What are you doing? Oh man, you need a bath. <laughs> How is my Clyde boy doing, silly boy? Yes. All right. You ready? Watch this. Come on. I gotta get away so I can do this. I, it, no. Seriously, that's not even like. Look, it's still full. I'm gonna give you some more. Yeah, well. Okay. And as you guys know, we now named the little one. Her name is Lydia Dietz. And if you know what movie that name comes from, comment below. And she is doing great. Hello, Lydia. Hi, honey. Hello, Lydia. Hi, funny girl. She's just so thinking cute. Mm -hmm. Bunny, you're doing, are you being a good mama? Yes. She being a good mommy. No problems at all. She's done everything on her own. Did not need any help from us. So for a first time goat mama, she's doing great. So now I'm gonna go over here. We feed Bonnie for the, for the morning feed. <laughs> oh, you still got alfalfa pellets in here, Bonnie. You need to eat your alfalfa. Your prego, or not prego, your milking. You need that extra oomph. And we also picked her up a, they call them a billy block or goat block. It's like. <laughs> It's full of all the minerals and vitamins that goats would need, so. But, Bonnie's doing business. There we go. <laughs> Everybody went TT. But there is a picture of the whole family with Clyde in the, stuck in his head. Clyde boy. Hey, I'm trying to get a family picture. You're not helping. <coughs> All right, here is our turkey pen. This coming up weekend is going to be freezer camp weekend. And the ones that have survived this crappy year of turkeys for us, they've all recovered from the foul pox. And as you can tell, some of them got really huge. Um, the two gray ones, we are going to um, put out with Mr. and Mrs. Turkey. They are both females, and these are all males, and they're all becoming of age. So we don't need these guys getting in trouble with, with everybody. And then I'm standing in what we're calling Food Force 3. This is our Jacopa Cava, and this is a volunteer papaya. We're just letting it grow, and we got another one, two more sprout next to it. Um, it is blooming flowers, so we may end up with some papayas, not sure. Um, this is Tora, which is like an elephant ear, it's huge. Um, it is protecting our coffee, we have coffee plants back in there. This is, uh, I think it's ginger i may be wrong or that's ginger this is um turmeric but i know one's ginger one's turmeric <laughs> this is our miracle fruit doing great volunteer or that's a not a volunteer that's a um mango there more bananas the dragon fruit we have is growing up 
Um, we don't know which of the three types. It's either the the clear, the red, or the yellow. So we won't know until it produces. Uh, passion fruit vine is starting to go up our tree, which is what we want. Uh, back in the corner here, the tall one, that is the strawberry tree fruit. And then more of the same around here. So we planted some uh, pineapples, but this group is doing great. And then, oh, here, take you guys along. All right, Stupid and his crew, are you guys ready? Will you come out for the day? Huh? Hold on, I'm doing this one-handed, guys. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Come on out. This is Donald's call ducks. And then the two naked necks or turkey necks. I don't know what you want to call them. And the Ducle rooster. They're all doing great. And one of our call ducks is laying an egg. I got an eggy today. Already this morning, I got an eggy from somebody. Very nice. Stupid. Leave him alone. Go on. You and your girls. Go do your go do your chicky stuff in the yard. Leave him alone, stupid. Okay. One set of breasts. They're doing great. Donald was able to get the uh, chicken coop out here. Um, the one that's in Stupid's uh, pen, we're going to be bringing that out. They're not using it. So we're going to put it right here for these guys. And then here is the other set of breasts. And these are our Stupid's daughters in here. Hi, guys. Good morning. Very nice. All right. Yes, make your announcement to the world. Hello, ladies. Look at all the fluffy butts. Especially on uh, Miss Orpington there. She's my biggest girl. And then next to it, Miss Cochin. She's my smallest. All right, let's go check out. And we got going on over here. Um, there's our shed. Bananas are doing great. We haven't gotten to the point where we move these guys just yet. Uh, we probably will next weekend or two. Um, this whew, sun, hello. Oh, it's only like nine o'clock in the morning. Anyway, um, sweet potatoes are coming in pretty good. And then this is the Food Force 2, or Zone 3, as we call it with the watering. A lot of weeds, a lot of stuff got overtaken, but it's still thriving underneath all this mess. And that's one thing that we really rely on is being able to survive in neglect. Uh, Got some of the uh, lemongrass in here. This is cassava, which is a root plant. Sugar canes back over there. More bananas. That's the avocado right here. That came back from the frost. There's the uh, the sugar cane there. A lot of cassava. There's a lemon and lime tree in here. Um, other variations. Once. 
because um, now that the cooler weather has hit, a lot of these weeds are dying back, as you can tell, uh, especially over here in the corner and down this this thing here. Oh, and the roof is doing great. <laughs> but let's see if. Uh... Hello, baby boy. Mr. Turkey. Hey, guys. And all the other duck ducks. We had a set of trap out. Unfortunately, we found a dead duck a couple days ago. So um, nothing yet. So we'll see. But these guys are doing great. Mrs. Turkey is off over here. She's been laying eggs, which is not the season for turkey. Um, we're not going to hatch anything for winter because of it being too cold. Mr. Turkey. Hey, Mr. Turkey. What you doing? You just being all showy, aren't you? Huh? What's up, Mr. Turkey? So, come along here, and this is the, let me get into here. Okay, inside our growing area, we've harvested a couple bananas. These guys are doing great. Buzz button and spearmint are still going strong. Um, over here, I took out uh, the basil and the sage for the season. Um, this has cilantro, so we're going to have cilantro coming up really nice. That's supposed to be a flower. Uh, Cosmo, it's called. And here are the carrots. And they're coming up good. All of the banana trees. I mean, yeah, those are banana trees. Pineapples. Oh, I think I need some coffee. Doing great. And those flowers are just rocking it. I'm just letting them go. Apparently, I cannot remember the name of them. But they will bloom from late summer until the first frost. So, anything for the bees. Sweet potatoes coming in uh, all over the place over here. Um, these are different radishes. Some are regular red radishes. And then we have the giant whites coming up. Pepper plants are doing great. We got some more of the Jedi peppers coming in and jalapeno. Um, this was supposed to be the habanero. They haven't come up at all. Here is my butterfly pea. And it, it's come back really strong. I got a lot of uh, seed pods. So I'll be able to grow it again next year here. And I am just harvesting it as much as I can with uh, winter coming. I know it won't last too much longer. And then beets. These did not do as good as I thought they would be right now. I mean, yes, some of them have come up. But I'm going to take some of these radishes and place them in here where the beets are not growing just to space them out and give them some room and then over here is the uh, chocolate baby bell peppers I have two plants that are doing great they are dying back and starting to slow down so not getting as much and then let me come into here I gotta step all in this we do have our Asian yard long green beans are coming back now with the cold snaps coming I don't know but you know we're here in Florida so it's not like we're up north so I'm hoping that they will grow some more and we'd be able to get some uh, green beans again if not no big loss you know it's an experiment which is the fun thing about you know planting you can do fun things. So, going down to the uh, banana tree patch area. And we got some more banana trees planted in here. 
and they are doing great all over and we're gonna come into here and this is going to be open this one uh, all right this is gonna be our nursery area um we still have um the this is gonna be down all winter long we're gonna try our best to kill anything that's in here i did put a couple of the potted trees out here but i accidentally put donald's voodoo plant out in the sun that was a big no-no but it'll be fine it just got a little burnt this is a maple a red japanese maple tree and i've always wondered why it never grew very well it's not meant for florida <laughs> cranberry hibiscus another cranberry hibiscus over here our mangoes are doing fine the sour sap um i'm waiting for fruit it's uh supposed to be developing fruit and last year when we had to cut the branches back we found small bits of fruit um so i'm hoping it will fruit again this year and then the low quad um i found out that the we found out the low quads that are up in here those are the flowers and the blooms for this next season so because it has produced a tremendous amount of flowers we're hoping next season will be great uh the back side of the blackberry row we planted lemongrass already just to get it going here planted all the way down our fence line um, we're just trying to use it to keep the viney weeds back and as you can tell more uh we got sweet potatoes in the ditches now <laughs> we have sweet potatoes everywhere um here's my moringa and it is doing great um like i said i'm getting a lot of flowers no seed pods oh so good um but we were able to get a lot of the uh, weeds back from it like this stuff this stuff is just the worst in the world <sighs> hate it it's a weed this one's grown pretty big but every year it does die back with the frost and it'll come back up look another sweet potato growing <laughs> we're just gonna have this stuff everywhere all right let's go out and all the bananas along the front of the house they're doing great too um, Donald was able to dig this out so we can now use the door both ways, which is nice. Here is the blackberries, and they are producing again, which I mean, we don't have a problem with. It's just that it's odd that it's just producing in the off season. So the muscadine grape has made it to our gate um, we're just we have to wait until the leaves die down to uh, trim it back but it's like overhanging um, blueberry patch we got to clean that up we'll probably do that in the next couple of weekends loquat there lemongrass the grapes for the season have died back and out of nowhere we got a bunch of thorny blackberries everywhere they just popped up <laughs> my uh, bay leaf is doing great <laughs> and let's see here we do have bamboo growing um, it'll probably be next year when it comes to its full potential uh, there, it's right behind the cassava it's the yellow it's called the goddess bamboo but you can see it right behind the cassava here this is a river bir birch tree um here is the white pakistani is it or no pack this should be the what no pakistani this is a pakistani uh mulberry uh curry leaf is doing great we haven't touched any of this in here there are banana trees in here which you can see the tops of them 
Fig Trees still holding on, doing great. Let me get by all this. More bananas. Um, this one here is the white mulberry. Gotta watch out for the ant piles. <laughs> um, yeah, the jasmine I haven't touched yet. <laughs> As you can tell, it's just all over the place. And then this is the ever-bearing mulberry. The bananas near our house. Oh, look, another banana rack. Didn't even see that bloom. A brand new banana rack. I think this is the ice cream banana. Yeah. And then over here is my fire bush. Doing great. We'll have to cut that back soon when the frost first frost comes. This is the Mexican sunflower. This is a nitrogen fixing. Well, what are you guys doing on my stoop? Uh-huh. I see you all there. Um, we made a seating area, which I'll show you in just a minute here. But we planted some lemongrass, some banana trees. And we're going to be planting passion fruit. There's comfrey. And then this is the mulberry tree. We'll be cutting that down the branches here soon. It's losing its leaves. But... Back to this, um, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's got more flowers. It has these huge yellow flowers right on top. And you can see all the buds. And the thing is taller than our house. And over here, <clears throat> this is the, uh, Banana bloom in front of my daughter's window. So, we'll have more bananas. And then coming into here, this is our new seating area. We picked up the bricks. And we made this a seating area. That way, Donald has all that area for standing around cooking and doing what he wants to do. Pound his chest or... <laughs> You guys, what are you doing? Yes. Yes. Hello, Miss Cinnamon Queen. Story behind Miss Cinnamon Queen. <clears throat> she um, belonged to my neighbor, which is Caddy Corner in the back. And um, they've, you know, the last couple of months here, we've had animals show up and, you know, we just contact them like, hey, you missing one? <laughs> well, this one, she uh, said just to keep it. So she integrated with Stupid's flock on the first day. I'm like, okay, we will just roll with it. Doing great. No problems. And then uh, I started some more cuttings. So I got to check that later on. But, yeah, this is Donald's uh, barbecue alley. Hello, Miss Arfington. <laughs> and then all of his grills and smokers. So, but that is pretty much it for all the animals and our plants for the fall season so far. Um... That's about it. How stupid. You good boy. You lost all your tail feathers. Where's your long feathers? You mean growing some new ones? <laughs> Alright, so we will see you on the next one. And let me know how things are going where you're at. And if you're in the northern areas, I know it's... Um, and some of the areas they've gotten snow or flurries or something. I don't know. Y'all. <laughs> but let me know how it, your area is doing with your plants in the comments below. Remember, like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys later.